Abstraction of movement for a dance 1A class. There are many ways that you can abstract movement. Some of the most common ways that this can be done is by changing the body part with which you produce the movement. You can do it by manipulating the energy quality. You can also change the way that you use the space, whether on a high, medium, or low level, or in the area that you choose to do the movement. And you can also do this with timing, whether it's fast or slow. We are going to look at what pantomiming is. We'll take this idea of reading a book or opening a book. Here is what pantomiming might look like. In contrast with that, we are going to look at a way that you might abstract this movement. Here we can see that you are using a different body part. Rather than just using the hands, you can use the arms and the legs. You can also take the movement down onto a different level using different space, playing with the energy quality, whether it's going to be heavy or suppressed or light. You can also play with the timing. Here's another example of how abstraction can be applied to dance. Here's an abstraction sequence that we will be working on for the next few weeks as we are doing this unit. 